And let's move over to Abuja Studios where Ibrahim Adra is standing by with more stories. Hello, Ibrahim. Hello, Melinda. Good to see you. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEX, says it will not backtrack on its decision that the All Progressive Congress is not eligible to fill candidates for February governorship elections in Zamfara State. In a statement by INEC chairman in charge of information and voter education, Mr. Fesu Zokoe, INEC pointed out that two major court judgments were presented to it by two courts. The first from a state high court, which affirmed that the APC held its primaries for elective positions in the state, and another from a federal high court in Abuja, which produced a contrary ruling. The statement adds that INEC's position on the non-eligibility of Zamfara APC is in line with Section 87 of the 2010 Electoral Act as amended. The Electoral Empire also released the final list of candidates for governorship, state houses of assembly and FCT area council elections in the federal capital territory. INEC adds that it is satisfied with the level of preparedness for the general elections. Our civil society groups in the country are asking the federal government to take all necessary steps to ensure that government institutions are not used to manipulate election outcomes in next month's general elections. The Civil Society Legislative Advocacy Center, CISLAC, says security agencies must be above board to ensure that aggrieved parties are not motivated to take the law into their own hands. CISLAC Country Director Awa Rafsanjani made this known during an interactive session on security agencies' role in elections in Abuja. We have also highlighted that, you know, uh, there's no need to deploy, you know, 30,000 policemen, armed policemen, to just an election in a particular state. In any case, if you are going to have a general election, it is impossible to deploy 30,000 policemen in a one state. Uh, therefore, we think, you know, if there is no determination to rig election, if there's no determination for both the opposition and you know ruling party to undermine the integrity of the election itself, there's no need you know to intimidate and harass voters. We that is why we in civil society uh, we continuously engage the general public on voter education so that we continue to inform them and advise them to stay away from electoral violence. Because once there's uh, violence in any election, uh, there will be you know. Um, a credibility of that outcome of election. So we believe that you know the unnecessary deployment of a large number of armed security personnel to a particular election center, it is a calculated attempt to intimidate and harass voters. And that is why in many instances there is a total apathy by the voters because they are already been intimidated. And that is why we also call on the security agency not to be accompanying any politician with, you know, policemen or any security person, you know, because doing that you are putting advantage or they are disadvantaging other people by that appearance itself. And still on the next month's election, the country director of the United Nations Women, Comfort Lamte, has called for a security beef up as the 2019 general elections approaches. Speaking at a forum organized by the UN Women ahead of the 2019 elections in Abuja, Mrs. Lamte criticized the spate of violence at the just concluded primary elections and at some campaign venues, stating that it must be tackled headlong to avoid a repeat in the general elections. Women from all walks of life gathered in Abuja to reawaken the consciousness of the women folk in contributing their quota to national development through participation in politics. As many of you know, participants took a swipe at the just concluded party primaries, which according to them was murdered by violence and intimidation. We're also in a context where we've just, in, in Nigeria, where women have gone through a very bruising experience uh, for many women uh, during the recent primaries. Um, there were successes, uh, but there were also many cases of uh, reported intimidation, disappointment, and sometimes violence. So against this context, uh, our having this meeting on the, on the theme of promoting wom women's role in promoting peaceful elections is very critical and timely. Besides, asking women to make their vote count in the 2019 elections 
there is a call to women to take up active roles in the socio-economic development of the country. The Nigerian democracy is still very young and um, election day still create a lot of concern and the fear for violence. Women, as they are, one half at least of the society, they have a role to play in uh, instilling an attitude in every Nigerian that elections, they just come and go and there's no need for uh, violence to erupt. The numbers of women at the top are certainly not enough. We need to deliberately do more to support and uplift more women to the top. Women constitute a large percentage of the nation's voting population, but they occupy only 5.8% of the political offices in the country. Political observers look forward to see more women including in elective and appointed positions in the days ahead. And that's all from Abuja. We'll go right back to Melinda in our Lagos studio. Melinda. Many thanks, Ibrahim. It's reward time for distributors of Dangote Foods, comprising Dangote Flour Mills, Dangote Sugar Refinery, and Nascon Allied Industries PLC. 77 distributors from the six geopolitical zones of Nigeria were honored at the company's 2018 Customers and Distributors Award Night held in Lagos. At the event, the president and chief executive of Dangote Industries Limited, Mr. Aliko Dangote, appreciates the customers for their loyalty against all odds in 2018. Thank you. From every part of Nigeria, customers and distributors of Dangote Foods arrive at the convention center of Eco Hotel in Lagos for the 2018 Customers and Distributors Award Night, joined by top management staff. It's time to celebrate a symbiotic partnership. Your continuous patronage over the years demonstrates your confidence in the Dangote food business's product range. Sugar, flour, salt, and the baby of the family seasoning. We appreciate you for being our support system and for your unwavering commitment to us. According to the President and Chief Executive of Dangote Industries Limited, Aliko Dangote, 2019 presents another opportunity for growth. Our goal for 2019 is to continue to satisfy you all, I mean, as well as our dear corporate customers, bakers, confectioners, and consumers all over the country. I believe that all this should result in a stronger growth and sustenance of all the business units. Third position. Now, the main reason for the gathering, the honoring of 77 distributors and customers. With all expense paid trip to Dubai, cash reward and business enhancing tools are for grabs. 54 winners emerged from the geopolitical zones of Nigeria, while 23 others fall under the national categories, with Alaji Ali Balarabe winning the overall best performing customer for the second consecutive time. We have this uh, attachment with most of our distributors because majority of them, we started with them when they are very, very small and uh, we have actually helped in backing them up with the best and highest quality product uh, which is making them to uh, turn around and uh, you know give us a lot of turnover in terms of sales and also growing their own businesses celebrating 2018 against all odds the management of dangota foods pledges the company's commitment to another year of stronger growth for both the company distributors and every user of Dangote products. The Coca-Cola company has just concluded a major acquisition and has that and other stories on business news. That's very true, Melinda. We begin with the American beverage giant, the Coca-Cola Company, saying that it has completed acquisition of Nigerian beverage 
maker Cheer Limited. In a statement, the company says the acquisition further signals its optimism about Africa's consumer opportunity and its commitment to long-term investment and growth plan on the continent, where it's been present for more than 90 years. Coca-Cola first announced the minority investment in Cheer Limited back in 2016 with a 40% stake from its parent company, Tropical General Investment Group, and it expressed interest at increasing ownership within three years. Chia Limited, which was founded in Nigeria in 1980, is recognized in West Africa as an innovative, fast-growing leader in expanding beverage categories. Listed Aviation Services Limited, NACO Avians PLC, plans to implement a capital-raising exercise looking to reposition the firm under a new year strategic program. The new management board explained this after the close of trading on the Nigerian Stock Exchange today. This is the first official visit of the new management board of the Nigerian Aviation Handling Company to the trading floor of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. This interaction with the stock exchange and the traders community is in compliance with the post listings requirements of the exchange. NACO's new top officials include Mr. Akinwumi Fanimoku, Mr. Mohamed Omar, Mr. Shainde Fadeni, Mr. Sunday Unwosu, and the group managing director, Mrs. Olato Kumbo Fagbimi. The new direction for the aviation handling company is to restructure the company under a five-year strategic plan from the current year through to 2023. Essentially, what we want to do is to bring exponential growth to our company in the region of five to six times. We're also looking at investing in materially in our people, in our equipment, in our facilities. Essentially, we have a master plan that we're developing that will materially transform ground handling services in Nigeria and across the um, African region. NACO says it looks to raise capital for these projects in a transparent manner. We would unveil it when we come for the facts behind the figures. We would let you know exactly how we're going to raise the funds. There will be funds. There will be no ambiguity. Everything will be clearly laid down. How much is to be raised? What is to be expected? How much is debt? How much is capital? We'll put all that on the table so that the investing public can make up their mind about the value we're bringing. In the nine months to September ending 2018, NACO PLC posted an impressive 7.25 billion naira turnover a momentum seen sustainable by the new management team even as nigeria's commercial aviation industry is forecast to expand with new and more infrastructure it's the third week now of decline for listed equities at the domestic stock market after profit taking hit bellwether stocks at the consumer goods sector for more on today's closing figures let's join chimizi obiwago Hello and welcome to the Stock Market Report. Bargain hunting dominated the equities market today, but in the end, the bears still took the upper hand, pulling down the overall index by 0.11%. The bargain hunting was more on the banking sector, as we can see, only the lenders made up the top trade list. That also ramped up transaction activities for the day. Investors churned out 249.5 million shares, valued at 3.12 billion naira, far more than what has been recorded since the beginning of the week. Interestingly, looking at the sector performance, only the consumer goods lagged, losing 0.76%, and it's all because of the likes of Nestle, Guinness, and Flour Mill. On the other hand, the oil and gas sector was the major gainer, and that is attributed to the 2.88% gain by Seplat. For now, there is nothing to stimulate the market, and traders are not expecting any serious rally until perhaps after the elections. And that was the stock market report. I'm Chimeze Obi Iwago. Back to you, Anne. Thank you, Shimizu. We'll definitely keep our eyes on the market and hope it changes soon. Stocks in Wall Street have ended midweek trading session higher after U.S. Federal Reserve kept its interest rate unchanged. Let's see how the major markets across the globe ended today.
And that's business news for tonight. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Anne Wawadu. It's back to you, Melinda. Many thanks, Anne. Still ahead on the news at 10. Brazil international Neymar ruled out for up to 10 weeks to miss both leg of PSG's Champions League of 16 against Manchester United. That's on Sports News.